in the main main conditions or main characters of the normal distributions are in this first one is the graph graph is nothing but that is the bell shaped graph we can take it as this is the bell shaped graph and this is the highest peak is which is mean x is equal to mean and here the intersecting axis of x and y at the origin this is the y axis the horizontal line is the x axis okay in the first point in this the first point is the graph of the normal distribution y is equal to f of x this is the normal distribution y equal to f of x it can be defined in the x y plane only it is known as the normal curve it is known as normal curve this is the first point of the characteristic of the normal distribution the second point is the curve is bell shaped curve the curve is bell shaped curve and it is symmetric symmetric means the left side part and the right side parts are same just whatever the area is in the left side the same area is right side the total area it becomes the one so it is the symmetrical curve with respect to the mean why because we are taking the center point is the mean the left side area is 0.5 the right side area is the 0.5 the total area it can be one that is integral minus infinity to infinity f of x is equal to one and the left side it goes to minus infinity the right side is goes to plus infinity and here the line x is equal to mu and the two trials on the right and left sides of the mean mu extends to infinity and the top of the bell is directly about the mean the top of the bell is directly we can take it as mean that is the second characteristic the third one is area under the normal curve represents the total population this is the important area under the normal curve it represents the total population the total area is represented for the total population that normal curve all is it is defined as next fourth one mean median mode of the distribution coincide already we discussed the mean of the normal distribution mode of the normal distribution median of the normal distribution three are same at which one at x equal to mu and this distribution is symmetrical distribution and the normal curve is also uniform uni model uni model means it has exactly one maximum point it is the uni model curve that is nothing but the maximum value is maximum point is unique one only so it is the symmetrical curve in this mean median mode represented at x equal to mu only and it is the uni model curve the fifth one fifth characteristic x axis is a asymptote to the curve x axis is a seem toward to the curve that is nothing but the curve is never touches it goes to infinity that is the assume toward the curve sixth one it's a linear combination of independent normal variates is also normal variate in this independent means 
the mean and standard deviations those two are independent variables so the so those are normal variates only seventh one the points of inflection of the curve are at x equal to mu plus or minus sigma and the curve changes from the concave to convex the curve changes to concave to convex at x equal to mu plus sigma to x equal to mu minus sigma here this is the bell shaped curve okay like this and here x minus mu left side sorry mu minus sigma left side mu plus sigma right side so concave to convex it can be changes the curve which changes and here convex is this is the convex concave curve is this is the concave curve and it is also concave that is changes to convex and asymptote means it's never touches to x axis that is goes to and the point of inflection means the changes concave to convex when it is changes that is nothing but that is the point of inflections this is the seventh point when it is changes to concave to convex at mu plus sigma to mu minus sigma the curve is concave the other curve is in the convex shape eighth point the probability that the normal variate capital x with mean this is the variable random variable with mean mu the standard deviation is sigma is the standard deviation lies between x1 and x2 is given by probability of x1 is less than or equal to capital x is less than or equal to x2 is equal to 1 by sigma root 2 pi integral x1 to x2 e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square dx here this is the probability distribution and it can be taking the area from the x1 to x2 so it depends on the two parameters mu and sigma and we get the different normal curves for the different values of mu and sigma and here it is impracticable task the plot of all the normal curves instead of by putting z is equal to x minus mu by sigma in the rhs of the equation 1 it becomes independent of the two parameters mu and sigma then z is known as the standard variate in the normal distribution z is the standard variate that is nothing but standard variable in general x is the random variable but in the normal distribution that x can be changes to z1 next ninth one area under the normal curve is distributed as follows this is the area under the curve can be followed by the distribution here concave to convex is changes to mu minus sigma here suppose mu plus sigma this is one type of the area and in this the area occupies 68.27 percentage the total area okay next thing is mu plus 2 sigma 
it's mu minus two sigma. In this, the total area from this to this. This area is Ninety-nine point seven three percentage. This is sixty-eight point two seven percentage. Is mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma, and the remaining area. What is this? Mu minus three sigma. mu plus 3 sigma it is 2 percentage so here from this we can write it as probability of mu minus sigma is less than x is less than mu plus sigma is equal to Sixty-eight point two seven percentage is nothing but zero point six eight two seven. Probability of x minus two sigma less than x is less than mu plus two sigma is equal to ninety-nine point seven three percentage. That is equal to zero point nine nine seven three. The probability of x minus three sigma is less than X is it is from ninety five. Sorry, here it is up to here. It is ninety nine. Only here. Ninety five point four three percentage. Ninety five point four three percentage. That is zero point nine five four three. And mu minus three sigma is less than x is less than mu plus three sigma. It is equal to ninety nine point seven three percentage is equal to zero point nine nine seven three. It's ninety five only. It's ninety five point four three. This right side to left side to we can add it. Then it is ninety nine point something seven three. Okay, this is the main characters. These nine are main characters we have. We should remember in the normal distribution. 